As a blogger, no two mornings have ever been the same. Today, I woke up in India. I'm on one of the most beautiful cruises I've ever seen. Following my passion, I've traveled to over a hundred countries around the globe. I did not know that this is what was in store for me. When you come here without knowing what to expect, you discover an instant comfort and delight for India. And of course, the breathtaking wildlife. It has left me wanting to come back to discover some more. As a writer, I know that my chapter of India has only just begun. It is every person's dream to be mesmerized by the beauty of the Taj Mahal. For me as a designer, I'm inspired by its timelessness. And I try to emulate the same in my work. India has a power, a magic about it, that draws me back here each time for the past 10 years. I love the afternoon markets. There is so much to learn, to keep creating, with the colors, the textures, the chaos and the gentle quiet. India is incredibly layered. The visuals that my eyes capture of this land not just pushes me creatively, but also makes me look at life in a new way. It has made me free, truly independent. India has made me believe in myself. India has some of the most unique and exotic food cultures in the world. Food and travel are my passions. As a cook, when I travel, I'm always looking for new ways to use spices in my cooking. This is such a vast country, offering the most wonderful tradition and scenery in every place you visit. I've met the friendliest people who have taught me their well-kept secrets of chutney. The differences in cuisine from one side of India to the other have amazed me and given me endless inspiration. I may not be able to replicate everything I've learned so far, but this is definitely going to be my most memorable trip. I can't wait to go back and discover more. Do you see what I see? Do you hear what I hear? Do you feel what I feel? Here I am, playing on the world-class golf courses in India. Walking through history, making friends. One minute I am traveling into the past, and the very next playing gully cricket. Before I realize it, I'm thrown into a lap of luxury. I could be anywhere in the world, but here I am. Hold my club, aim, and strike. This is my eighth time here, and it won't be my last. Do you see what I see? Racing has taken me all over the world. But when I put on the helmet, I am still in India. India, where I found yoga and the champion inside me. If your mind is racing, how can you slow down, breathe? I have breathed in India's magic. I have felt its warmth. I have breathed out the noise. The Himalayas, the Ganges. I have breathed in their calm. Yoga has taught me the truth about life and motorcycles. That the more still you are, the 
further you can go. Incredible India. What does luxury mean to you? Luxury. In India, I discovered that true luxury isn't something you buy off a shelf. True luxury is a feeling that you are the Maharani of your world. And it can be all designed around you. All the beauty is yours. All the music is yours. India showed me that luxury doesn't follow designers and brands. True luxury follows its own heart. Incredible India. I was going to shut down my family bookstore. But the Indian rhinoceros saved it. That's a rare bird. In my travels through Kaziranga, I saw the jungle growing again. And I heard the story of the rhino. Fifty years ago, there were only 400 rhinos. But now, there are more than 2,400. India showed me what can happen if you don't give up. And if the Indian rhino can make a comeback in this day and age, so can my bookstore. Incredible India. Reincarnation. India showed us what it's really about. A little pain is good. Reminds us we are alive. India, it's so alive, so soulful. Ayurveda had to be born here. Ayurveda is literally the science of life. Take a sip. Life flows through the air here, healing the body, reawakening the spirit, keeping a culture that's centuries old, forever young. Ayurveda showed us you don't have to wait for reincarnation. You can be reborn in this life. Incredible India. People ask me what culinary school I went to. My answer is India. I learned that you don't add masala just to the food. You add it to everything you do. I learned that flavor is more than a taste. It's a sight. It's a sound. It's a science. In India, I found the secret masala spices that make all the difference. The joy with which you cook. The love with which you serve. in this sacred place where he took his first steps on the path to enlightenment. This is the land where he first spread his word, where people heard, and where his life took shape. Discover for yourself the journey of Buddha to his final resting place. Immerse yourself in his life here in India.
the land of Buddha.